Hey guys, what's going on? It's Massive Joe's Weekly. Whoa! I beat Ago a cappella. Episode 21. Another delicious intro to Massive Joe's Weekly Word. Episode 21, my brother Neve. Pushy cats are legal now, mate, in America. <laughs> mate, <21. laughs> how did we know what episode number it was, mate? Because Big Dillip wrote it on the whiteboard, so it, we couldn't stuff it up this time. Dillip, Massive Joe's media manager, Dillip, aka the cutting specialist, wrote it on the whiteboard behind the camera, so we couldn't. Mate, if anybody. He's learning, man. He's actually watching the videos before he press publish on that bitch. So, if anybody on Instagram wants to hit up AA Dillard, the cutting specialist, <laughs> to get some, uh, some dieting tips, mate. He has his calories set to zero. <laughs> oh, Dillard's, you know, Dillard is the cutting specialist. He's actually, no, he's really good. He actually did my diet. For, <laughs> for, for <laughs> And he also... <laughs> he did my diet for the people's cut. This is his formula. Can I tell the viewers at home the formula? You can. I reckon I have to. What he says is he, the best way to cut is to take your daily calories <laughs> plus five and multiply by zero. <laughs> <laughs> That's his secret to cutting. I don't know how he's late to work every day. He says he had to prepare his meals. He brings out five, five containers out of his ice cream bag. <laughs> it on the table, mate. There's nothing in there. Five containers of air, mate. He's on a strict caloric controlled diet of nothing but oxygen. <laughs> anyway, topics of discussion for this episode of Massengers Weekly <laughs> Word. My brother needs some pretty cool things to talk about. All right, man. so we've got two new flavors of ice 100. Yeah, well, one's already sold out. But we'll tell you about them anyway. New Clash. Yep. Next, this is for next week. New MTS Clash. Episode. Not in yet, but we are telling you because it should be a Monday, Tuesday next week. New Clash and New Greens. Yes, from MTS. New pre-workout, pre-OG. From? Physiques of Greatness, it's your boy Chris Jones. You know who it is! Uh, May 10th. Yes, we've got to tell the viewers at home about the May 10th event. Yep. That's in the works. And also SciTech Way and also Ask Neve. Yes. Let's go. Straight up, man. So, new ice 100. Comes birthday in. cake. Birthday cake. The best ISO 100 flavor we have seen thus far. Oh. And fudge brownie, which I hear is absolutely delicious as well. I haven't actually tried that. We tried this. This is the open tub. We opened as soon as this bitch dropped, man. Oh, it smells so good. It does. I wish I didn't have it a It smells just 10 days. white chocolate sponge cake. I actually want to go balls deep in that tub. Oh. That's how good it smells. <laughs> it's Amazing. Oh, leather in. Anyway, this flavor sold out, but it's coming back in next week. We sold out in two days, man. Yeah. Got to work this morning, went through the website orders, sold out of birthday cake. But there's more coming next week, so you can pre order it if you my, want. I already hit up Roberto from Dharmatize. Next topic of discussion. They're on the way. Next uh, week, we got some pretty cool SKUs dropping so in, man. We got the New Clash. New Clash. New reformulated Clash. A in new pink flavor. Lemonade flavor. Took out a few bits and pieces, added a few bits and pieces. The bits and pieces that have been added are in the boom blend down the bottom. So we've got some methyl tyramine, some hygienamine, and some hordenine hydrochloride in the new class. Hygienamine? Big things were happening with hygienamine a few years ago. A while ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gone a bit quiet. Yep. Five hours back. And the reason why, there'll be a full raw review on the new Clash, obviously, but people have been asking why did it get reformulated? Well, there's two reasons. Firstly, it tasted like shit, let's be honest. Yeah. You kind of liked it because you like citrus, but I hated the lemonade didn't flavor. Taste good. So it wasn't reformulated a good lemonade, it wasn't a good lemonade better. Flavor. Mark wanted to up the, the stimulants a little bit. Yeah. So he's kept the caffeine the same, but added some other pretty cool stimulants in here. And the third reason is the Australian government has cracked down on methyl phenyl ethyl amine or methyl PEA. So he took that out of it and added the hordenine, the hygienamine and the methyl tyramine. So there you go. That's the um, new Clash. Coming with that shipment is also... MTS Greens. The new MTS Greens. Now this one I'm excited about, man. I'm gonna give you guys a quick sneak peek. Full raw reviews coming, but the lowdown on the MTS Greens is it's a greens formula plus a reds formula. So you get like all your phytonutrients and antioxidants and micronutrients from your greens, plus your reds, which is fruits, plus... Your super fruit blend. Plus... 
You pro Jura blend, what's that? Oh, that's your probiotics. Oh. Probiotics. Plus, it's actually a multivitamin as well. Oh, Full shit. spectrum of vitamins and minerals. That's so it's milk. a green plus milk. a multi plus a pro digestive. Seems got milk. Awesome. It's got milk thistle in there. And it tastes good too. Finally, a greens formula that doesn't taste like you're drinking ground up greens, mm. blended greens. Also, new pre OG. Pre workout of greatness like from, you, from, from your boy Chris Jones. You know who And you. the swole nerd. If you happen to give a fuck. Physiques of greatness. I can't, I can't show them. I can't show them. Let's go, let's go away for the real review. Oh, you can but the pre workout of greatness uh, looks pre OG, they're calling it, man. Looks delicious. On paper, Lee, and I'm looking forward to trying it, and that's coming in next week as well. If you happen to give a f better start saving up by yourself about 30 of them bitches. May 10th? What's happening, May 10th? New store opening. Oh! Can we tell them where it is? Yep. No, we can't. Oh! No! Beef it out, Dilla. We can't tell them yet. You'll find out next week. It's coming close, but we've got some pretty cool things happening for the new store opening. So we've got two IFBB men's physique competitors. Joe Pitt and Sal Hassan. And Sal is a champion natural bodybuilder, I have to add. Mm. Yep. Uh, Nabba Mr. World. Jake Nicolopoulos in the house. What's that shit? IFBB bikini. Competitor? You're about to say bikini pro, weren't you? Oh, I was, probably will be next year. I was about to say pro. Let's go. Let's preempt it. Let's say IFBB soon to be bikini pro. Well, that's <laughs> Asha gonna be in the house. We're gonna have free supplement samplings from Platinum Labs. The boys Terry and Matt, Terry Pushy Cats, are coming all the way and from Matt Perth. Matt Bullet Low are actually coming from Perth to the store. Gonna uh, come yeah, and I did say, sorry. sample out some Defcon One. And hopefully, the new Opti Burn is here. They won't be. Oh, won't we? But they might have some samples of the new OptiBurn Amped and might be sampling that exclusive in Australia, man. That'll be a first time be available in Australia if they happen to pull it together. We got BSN in the house. We got Optimum Nutrition in the house. We got SciTech in the house. And we got Dimatize in the house. I don't know how they're all going to fit inside the new store. I don't know either. It's uh, There's a lot of people coming, man. And then after the store opening, we're having happening? a come and train. We're doing a come and train. We've got so all these all athletes here, man. Plus, plus, plus you've got big Nevos back here. you got myself. I'll be one week out of state shape. Jerome will be one week out of state shape. We're going to have a big f***ing orgy in the gym by the sounds of it, man. Like a training orgy, not an actual orgy. Oh, I don't know, mate. I'll do, I'll do whatever me uh, personally, I the don't orgy, care. The orgy will be just be Joe gone balls deep in his uh, birthday cake tub. <laughs> <laughs> in the new ISO 100. Last topic of discussion, Eve. SciTech Way, it'd better be here by next week, Joe. Yeah, so we're pretty much completely sold out of SciTech Way, man, in both, and both sizes. I just got an email from my brother, Shane, who's the distributor for SciTech in Australia. He said that our order's gone out first before anyone else in the country on Monday and we'll have it next week. It's not by Friday, SciTech discontinued. So for days. all you SciTech way lovers, just hold on to your panties until the middle of next week and you'll be able to order however many tubs you want, man. Because we've got a shitload of it coming. That's it? Ask me. Ask me. I, this, I haven't actually looked at any of these questions. I did this time. Because I didn't want to get caught out like last week, so I starred the ones I want to ask. Ask Nick. The, qu the answers have to be quick, man. All right. We're going to get back onto planning our store opening. We're running against it. It's May 10th. It's two weeks away, Nick. Better find a location. Uh, all right. Denzel. <laughs> Denzel Khan wants to know, Nevos. Yes, Denzel. What's a rough total of your daily calories? Do you stay in a caloric surplus on rest days? Um, daily calories, rough total. I Throw a number out there. I don't count. But... It's got to be at least 5K. Yeah. 5,000 calories as a minimum. Do you stay in caloric surplus um, on rest days? Uh, I would say I do. I just take out, obviously, my post-workout shake. 
I would say you do as well. And my, I, but I keep my meals exactly the same whether I'm training or not training. You go from 5,500 calories on a training day down to 5,000 on a rest day. I'm going to go out, I'm going to just gonna throw it out there. I reckon you're still on the But what I'm saying surplus. is I keep my meals all the same, but I take out my intra workout carbs and take out, obviously because I'm not having an intra workout, take out my intra workout carbs and take out my post workout shake and dextrose. Makes sense. So you probably drop about 500 calories. You're still definitely still in still eating caloric seven. Surplus. I'm still eating seven whole meals. Making them guys. Dev Bagani wants to know, Neve, what supplements would be optimum for a beginner looking to make them massive gains? Uh, just a good quality protein powder. <clears throat> Such as? Uh, depends what I I always would say ON Pro Complex Gainer. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to disagree. We just released that new mass stack that we did. Yeah, but it depends week. what their body composition is like, though. They're looking to make massive gains. Oh, if you want massive gains. So you gain. need True Mass 1200, you need BioGrow, you need Concrete, man. You definitely That's want a f- epic stack. So you definitely man. want a mass gain. For, for, uh, did you know I had that, that mass stack actually came about because um, my pushy cat, her younger brother, was looking to make Who some. Who is she? I'm not telling you. Who's the pussy? Yeah. My younger, uh, my pushy cat's <laughs> younger brother was looking to make some gains, and he came to me. He's, 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 he's twenty, I think he's twenty-one. Uh-huh. He came to me. He was looking to make some massive gains, and he wanted my advice. And that's what I put him on. I put him on the concrete. I put him on the True Mass twelve hundred, and I put him on BioGrow, and he put on a shitload of weight, man. Mm. I think he's packed on like ten kilos in the last Jeez. six months. And that's why I said we got to put this stack together, call it the Mass Stack, make it available to the general public. So that's what I would recommend for you, Deb. Get on the Massive Joe's Mass Stack. Have Next I, question. Now, met? these two people ask the same question right. pretty much. Ms. But no, back to Deb. I would say definitely just a Mass Gainer shake. True Mass 1200. Ms. Poop Meow and Reese Collins kind of ask the same question. At what age did Neve start training? And then Reese asked, how old were you when you started training? So, do you mean weight training? Uh, they've asked, uh, yeah, like weight training, bodybuilding, uh, powerlifting, whatever. Just lifting weights. I was about four. Lifting heavy things off uh, the floor and putting them back down against the force of gravity. I was about four. Making games. I was, I was about 14 when I started doing weights. Yeah? Um, what made you start? Mrs. Poop Meow wants to know. What made me start? Yeah. Um, I don't really know. You just wanted to look like John Cena. I did. Didn't you? I just wanted to get them some gains. And so my mum bought me a 50 kilogram weight, which is about 110 pounds, 10 pounds mm. weight set, which had two adjustable, um, had all the like mixed plates, mm. had the barbell, which mm. screwed together. So you can tell the quality of it. Mate, top quality, mate. The dumbbells and my dad bought me a, an incline bench that I went up and down and had the bench press. Really? And my, and my grandpa. You got an incline bench that goes up and down? Yep. Get the f- Didn't out. have the decline movement though. And, then, <laughs> and my, grand, my grandpa bought me some gloves to match my handbag. And um, I hit, and no, no, and he gave me a, a book, a weights book, and I just followed the. Uh, you're getting a bit nostalgic, aren't you? You want to tell the viewers at home your whole fucking life story? Or I'm moving oh, to the mate, next question. Mate, was, next question. This one's out, a good one. We're coming out in a movie. This next one's year. a good one. What, Chronicles of Nevia? Nevia? Yes. Sean Heatley wants to know this is cool. Hey, Neve. Just wondering, what exactly is a lean bulk, and is it worth it for a shredded lean dude to do it, being <laughs> a lean bulk? Tell the viewers at home what exactly a lean bulk is, Neve. I think, Sean, my brother, I think you've directed this at the wrong person. <laughs> but anyway, what's a lean bulk? Well, I would say a lean bulk is when... Okay, you're going to be caught. this is going to be the bro topic again. Yeah, but you generally clean King foods. Of the bros. You generally clean Sydney clean right foods here. with your chicken breast, your steak, your oats, that kind of stuff. I thought clean foods were the ones that you sprayed oh, with sure. Windex. No, they're not. Well, clean <laughs> clean your mouth out with soap before you ate them. So I bulk in with those kind of foods. Then you have your dirty bulk, which is just your dudes that go to KFC and Macca's and yeah. Domino's and say, just eat whatever the f- they want and say, but I'm bulking. Yeah, hey, mate, that's a dirty bulk. I, I, I'm going to just refine your answer a little bit. I think a lean bulk is when you're in a very slight caloric surplus yeah. and you make very slight gains. Which I personally Minimal think, fat gains. Yeah, which I personally think is the best way to bulk. I don't think that d- dirty bulking and just going stupid in caloric surplus is going to do you any benefit because you're just going to get fat as f- and you're going to have to diet. That's like to, you, you and hit you lose, and you lose a lot of a lot of muscle mass because you have to diet so f- 
You hit 120 kilos middle of winter last year. Yeah. And you had to diet down to 94, 95. You had to lose 25 kilos. Yeah. I mean, that, when it should have taken you and it took, 14 it weeks or 12 to 14 weeks, you had to diet for 26 weeks. Yeah, absolutely, man. So I think lean bulking is the only way to, to bulk. And then, so your second question, Sean, was is it worth it for a shredded lean dude to do it? I think it's worth it for anyone to do it. It's the only way to bulk, in my mm. personal opinion. Last question, Neve, before we wrap up this episode of Massive Joe's Weekly Word. Did the sun just go down or something? It just got dark on the screen. What's going on? Last question, Toby Treasure wants to know, Yes, Toby. Neve, yes, where Toby. does the chocolate go? Straight to the buy shop. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a question, Toby. It was. <laughs> Toby Treasure, Neve, where does the chocolate go? Show the viewers your biceps. You've got to tell them straight to the I biceps. Don't, I don't have you biceps. You do, show them. They're there. there. You're going to tell us what I have, Neve. Bo. Bo! Before I tell the viewers to hit the subscribe button. I was going to say something when you told them to tell you something. I don't know. I remembered it last night and then I was going to make a joke and I forgot it already. Oh, yeah. That's that for the next episode's edition of Weekly Word. Yeah. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay up to date with all the latest editions of Massive Girls Weekly Word and all the other deliciousness we've got going on on YouTube. Next week's episode is going to be good, man. It's a lot of shit we're going to go through next week. And we we probably could have spoken about a lot of it this week, but I don't like to preempt things. I like to keep people in suspense. I'm going to give you a tip. What's that? It's not Golden Grove. Yeah, well, a lot of people have been saying MJGG, Massive Joe's Golden Grove, it's which not. is another northern suburb of Adelaide. It's definitely not uh, Golden Grove, because why the f*** would we go put a store right next to Dernan Court? Yeah. That'd be, that'd be potato. No, we're opening one at Salisbury, mm -hmm. mate. <laughs> Guys, that is Massive Joe's Weekly Word. I'm coming to you from MassiveJoe's.com. Stay massive.